In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to download and use the book cover template. And you can find the button leading to the template on the print on demand page, on print a book page, and also on the main page, which we're there now. We'll scroll down a little bit and you'll see the button. There it is. All you need to do is click that button. And we are now on the download cover template page where we're going to create our template. The sizes for all the available uh, template sizes for books are on the right hand side and with the limitation of the maximum page count that you can have. A uh, 6x9 book cannot go above 842 pages. So the way we create our template is we go to the left hand side here where you select the size of the book. We're going to pick 6x9, it's the most popular size. Then we're going to put the page count, which is going to give us our spine. So let's pick 250 and we click get template. Almost immediately, we're taken to the next page. On the right hand side, you will see the cover specifications. These are the specs. If you, In case you don't want to use the template, a lot of designers would prefer to use the size of the back cover spine front cover and create their own template inside Adobe Photoshop or InDesign or whatever they're using. And the full cover which includes front, back and spine is one piece. On the left hand side on the other hand we now can see our template. In order to get this template you just right click it and you save as, a, as an image to your computer and then you can upload it and use it in uh, Adobe Photoshop or InDesign or in any other design program that you wish as a layer and create your cover from it. The template is divided into three parts. There's the back cover, there's the spine, and there's the front cover. On the back cover there's an area that is left open for the barcode as you can see right here. You don't actually need to leave it open. It's just a reminder for you not to put text or an image that's of importance there because if you use our system to create the barcode, that's where we will place it and we will place it on top of your image so that that rectangle, the white rectangle in which the barcode appears in, that we create that on top of your image. So you don't have to leave a, a, a white rectangle, but you make sure that you don't put any text in there. On the outside of the template, as you can see, there are three lines. There is the safety line, which is the first line on the inside. The next line is the trim line. And the third line is the bleed line. So let's understand what these stand for. The safety line is where you don't want your text to cross, which means if there's anything of importance and any image that you have to have, you want it to be on the inside of the safety line. You can be guaranteed that that will not be cropped off. The next line is the trim line. That line is where we expect the book to be cut. However, we're dealing with paper, uh, there are variances. So it can move eighth of an inch towards the safety line or an eighth of an inch away from the trim line towards the bleed line. So that's, it's not a perfect science there. So that's why we, we give you this line so you know, but the important next line is the bleed line. You want your background image to reach all the way to the bleed line. That way, even if we miss to one side or the other, the edge of your book will be a nice clean finish. And on the trim line, even if it moves a little bit to one side or the other, you still get a nice clean finish on the book. So those are the three lines that you have to make sure that you understand and that you use them properly. And if you have any other questions, feel free to call us and see you in the next tutorial.